Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss binomial theorem. Theorem, can you please go back? Thank you. Now let's look at binomial theorem. What? Oh, it means we have to discuss Pascal triangle before binomial theorem. Pascal triangle is a triangular array of binomial coefficients. These binomial coefficients have the non-negative integers we form a symmetrical triangle called Pascal triangle. And the recurrence of binomial coefficients is the Pascal row. Blaise Pascal, a 17th century French mathematician, was credited for Pascal triangle for the extensive description of the rule in probability theory. Although the rule exists many centuries before him in India, China, Persia, and Italy. According to commentary of Vara Hamira, Pingala documented Pascal Triangle in a Shankri text around 200 BC called Bashkara. Meanwhile, Alayuda referred the Pascal Triangle as staircase of Mount Meru. A Pascal triangle starts with one. Now, to move to the next row, we are going to repeat that one and then add that one to the next term. But we don't have any next term. In this case, we repeat the one again. Now, going to the second row, we repeat the one, but we have the first term and the second term together, which give us two. And then we repeat the last term, which is one. Now, if we move to the next row, we are going to repeat the one but now we're going to add 1 plus 2, which is 3. Then the next, we have the 2 plus 1 to give us the 3. Then we'll repeat the last term. Now, if we continue this, we're going to have what we have in this table. But there's a combinatorial formula for that. Now, the Pascal triangle, we have n choose k to be n factorial divided by n minus k factorial k factorial, where the exclamation mark is the factorial. And factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equals to n. We need to know that 0 factorial is 1 and 1 factorial is 1. Therefore, 0 factorial equals 1 factorial. Then when we have 0 choose 0, will be 0 factorial divided by 0 factorial, 0 factorial, which is 1. And n choose n will be n factorial divided by n factorial, 0 factorial, which is also 1. Now, the n factorial notation was introduced in 80s. By a French mathematician Christian Kramp. And factorial equals n into bracket n minus 1 factorial, which is n into bracket n minus 1 up to n minus k, uh, where k equals n minus 1. For example, we have 4 factorial will be 4 into bracket 4 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 3. You multiply everything together, you get 24. Also, if you have 5 factorial, will be 5. 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 4. We cannot have 5 minus 5 because we are going to get 0. And that would nullify what we are going to calculate. So in this case, we are going to get 120. So we have some applications of Pascal triangle, such as being heavily used in binomial expansion and in the calculation of combinations, in the construction of a matrix exponential, and for the construction of geometry of polytopes table. Now let's move to the binomial. A binomial is an algebraic expression with two terms. We have the modern Latin word for it, which is the binomium, and the English is the having two parts. A binomial expression operates with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and exponent. Abubakar Muhammad Al-Karaji, a 10th century Persian mathematician, was the first to prove binomial theorem with mathematical induction. He also gave the description of Pascal's triangle. In 1544, Michael Stiefel, a German mathematician, introduced higher binomial coefficients. Binomial coefficients are combinatorial quantities expressing the number of ways of selecting k objects out of n without replacement. Therefore, the binomial coefficients are the positive integers coefficients in the binomial theorem.
Mahavira, a Jain Dharma mathematician, in 850 AD gave the modern formula for binomial coefficients. Euclid of Alexandra, in late 4th century BC, gave special cases of binomial theorem for exponent 2. However, binomial expansions of small degrees were known in the 13th century mathematical works of Yang Hui, a Chinese mathematician. But for binomials with higher orders, Omer Kayam, a Persian poet, discussed the methods of obtaining them. An English physicist, Sir Isaac Newton, gave the generalized binomial theorem that is valid for any rational exponent. There are many applications of binomial theorem, but it can be seen in computing multiple angle identities or in probability mass function. The formula for binomial theorem, we have x plus y to the power of n equals n choose 0, x to the power of n, y to the power of 0 plus n choose 1, x to the power of n minus 1, y to the power of 1 plus and so on plus n choose n, x to the power of 0, y to the power of n. By induction, then we will have x plus y to the power of n to be the submission of n choose k, x to the power of k, y to the, b, to the power of n minus k. Let's consider some cases of binomial theorem here. The first case, we have our exponent to be 0, therefore we are going to get 1, because anything that is the power of 0 is 1. Now for the second case, we have our exponent to be 1, therefore our binomial coefficient will be 1, 1. And for the third case, we have our exponent to be 2. In that case, our binomial coefficient will be 1, 2, and 1. Now, you can repeat these for the exponent of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. And you're going to get the same thing with what we have here. Let's consider this example. We want to expand x plus 2 uh, to the power of 3 and find the binomial coefficient of x to the power of 2y. Now, we use the binomial theorem formula, which is this, and we just plug in the values since x and y are not the same. Therefore, we are going to have our 3 shoes 0, x to the power of 3, 2y to the power of 0, plus 3 shoes 1, x to the power of 2, 2y to the power of 1, plus 3 shoes 2, x to the power of 1, 2, y to the power of 2, plus 3 shoes 3, x to the power of 0, 2y to the power of 3. Now we are going to express the exponents to have this. Then further, we do the Pascal triangle in order to get this. And in all, by the time you multiply all the coefficients with the terms, we are going to have x to the power of 3 plus 6x to the power of 2y plus 12xy to the power of 2 plus 8y to the power of 3. Therefore, the binomial coefficient of x to the power of 2y is 6. Now, try the following exercises. And um, now, let me time you. You are going to pause the video and try the questions. Are you ready? Okay. Now, if you cannot solve this question, I will give you the hints and the solution to the questions so that anytime you see some questions like this, you will be able to solve them. Now, 1.05 to the power of 4 is not a binomial because in binomial, you must have two terms. Therefore, you have to split this into two. But be careful not to split it equally because if you do that we have 0 0.525 plus 0 0.525 and this is not a binomial they must be distinct the two terms but we can have something like 0 0.75 plus 0 0.3 or you can have 0 0.6 plus 0 0.45 but today i'm going to use 1 plus 0 0.05 and my final answer will be 1.2155 that is in four decimals. Now let's consider the second example where we have x plus y to the power of six. 
if you use the binomial expansions you are going to get this as your final answer and from there you can then calculate your binomial coefficient of x to the power of 3 y to the power of 3 which is in this case 20. let's consider the third question for this we are going to regroup this so that those with the common terms are together and in that case we are going to have this now we are going to expand this but the expansion is going to be voluminous and based on the question we want the one to the power of 3 now in that case using the binomial expansion we are going to have this and our final answer is going to be in this form now we consider the fourth question 1 minus 2x to the power of 5 what we are going to do now is that we are going to regroup the sign because we have the negative in this now we are going to have the positive so that it will be easier for us to solve and for that we have 1 plus into bracket minus 2x all to the power of 5 now if we solve this we are going to get this as our final solution if you really enjoyed this video please click the like button and the subscribe button thank you